Well, I hope you're satisfied. Well, I don't understand your attitude at all, Nell. The newspaper engages me to do a straightforward bit of legal work, and you, rather than be happy about it, take it as a personal affront. David, don't do it. Please, I beg of you, don't do it. Well, why not? I have my reasons, believe me. Please, Dave, don't go any further with it. Well, for good heavens, Dell, from the way that you're acting, one would suspect that some of your personal friends are mixed up in it. Well, that's just it. Yes, but surely, Dell, just because some of your fair-weather friends are involved, you needn't expect me to give up every principle that I have. Do you call me fair weather? I don't understand. Well, the night that Victor was shot, I went out for a walk. I was near his apartment house when it started to pour. There weren't any taxis around, so I thought I'd go in there for a minute. The night that Lindley was yes, shot? Yes, yes, I went in there for shelter. The doorman saw me go in, but he didn't see me leave. Now do you understand? Oh, yes, Del, There was no one there, you... no one, no witnesses. If you don't believe me, no one else will. Oh, yes, of Please, course, Dave, I... don't let him go any further. I'm scared. 